In other news, South Korea will raise coronavirus curbs to their highest level yet in the Seoul metropolitan area, warning that a record rise in new cases had reached maximum crisis level and amid fears of a fourth wave of the virus. We have Christine Jewell Uwe for that report. Christine. Yes, CJ. South Korea will raise coronavirus curbs to their highest level in the Seoul metropolitan area, the country's prime minister said Friday, warning a record spike in new cases had reached maximum crisis level. The country had previously been held up as a model of how to combat the pandemic, with the public largely following social distancing and other rules, but it was slow to start the vaccine rollout due to supply shortages. Under the new restrictions set to come into force on Monday and last for two weeks, gatherings of more than two people will be banned after 6 p.m. and schools will be closed. Cafes and restaurants are allowed limited seating and dining services are prohibited after 10 p.m. Entertainment establishments, including bars and clubs, will be shut and all public rallies are banned except for one-person rallies. On Friday, it recorded 1,316 cases, its highest daily rise since the pandemic began, with most new infections in capital Seoul and its surrounding areas, home to almost half of the South Korean population. Cluster infections have surfaced in areas including schools, offices, and shopping malls, with people in their 20s and 30s, most of whom are not yet eligible for vaccinations, driving up the numbers according to the health authorities. The measures to be imposed for the greater Seoul area would be the strictest since the South Korean government restricted businesses in the city of Daegu after an outbreak at a megachurch early last year led to the country's first major surge. On the business side, on Friday, South Korea's Kospi index fell as much as 2%, led by a fall in retail, travel and outdoor activity-related stocks, while its currency weakened for the third day. If the restrictions are extended beyond the initial two-week period or week or widened beyond Seoul, they may also affect the Bank of Korea's plan to start training in stimulus initiatives this year. A Bloomberg survey of economists earlier this month showed the central bank is expected to raise the key rate by 25 basis points before the year end. CJ? Well, thank you so much for your report. We're all hoping that those new restrictions will drive the infection numbers down. Please do take care over there in Korea. Thank you. This is Christine Jewel Uyabut. We live in interesting times.